Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, we are here today doing a recon of <laughs> stage two of the Tour de France Femme. When I ride a bike, it it really depends on the day. Some days I'm just feeling great and I love being on the bike. And other days I don't know what I'm doing. I do feel that when I'm suffering the most is when I feel most myself. And I think that's because I am always fighting an internal dialogue. And I think in the suffering moments is when I can really challenge that internal dialogue. Sometimes it wins, sometimes it doesn't. I'm a small town girl, I will say that. And I think that says a lot. When I was in high school, I had so many ideas of what I wanted to be <laughs> as for a career, um, but really no clear, clear idea. I think at one point I wanted to be an architect then I realized that was way too much math and I was not very good at math. <laughs> and then I wanted to be an interior designer. At one point I wanted to be a photographer, but I have no expertise in photography. I even still struggle to identify as a professional athlete because it's always been so unrealistic seemingly. about the women's peloton or even just the peloton of cycling in general before becoming a professional. I wanted to come in open-minded and as gracious and grateful as possible for having the opportunity. So I sort of just went with what I was given, which was a lot. <laughs> so this being my second season after unexpectedly successful first season. I had a lot of expectations on myself coming into this year. It's the middle of the season right now, and I've not been nearly as successful this year. And a lot of those expectations that I had of myself have not been close to exceeded or met. So that's been a bit of a, a battle. Hey, just uh, getting ready for my active recovery ride today. Yeah, I'm feeling very low today. <laughs> I realize how lonely I am in general and also just how bad I am at making friends. It's just tough as an adult. And then, I mean, even as a cyclist, it can be really lonely sometimes when you don't have you know, that person in your life. 
that you just crave being around and you know genuinely wants to be around you too. I just, I really miss the, having that and I haven't felt that way for a long time and yeah, man, it's just one of those days where you just, yeah, are struggling. I tend to isolate myself, but crave wanting to be with people. And I don't know if I'm successful because of that isolation. And I think that's why I fear finding that balance of being happy <laughs> or more happy and mentally in a better place or, you know, do I want to be the best bike racer in the world? Cycling is such a sport of respect and I felt that I hadn't really had the experience necessary to gain that respect. That internal dialogue just uh, is a beast. <laughs> Some days it's more negative than other days. When it's negative, it gives in to that imposter syndrome. I always have the voice in my head that's telling me that I don't belong there. And it's really easy to give in to that and say, oh well, the big hitters can win because that's what they're there for. I'm still in there right now. I am still trying to find what brings me most joy and happiness. I have struggled with anxiety and depression, and recently more so. Um, so finding that happiness and joy is a bit numb sometimes. But other days, that internal dialogue is happening, but the more positive voice comes in and tells me that I can do it. The goal of felt it so passion fit to fight. But a month of days just drift away, and the feeling fades from sight till you are close. some really amazing people in my life, especially on the team. Tim and Daniel, our directors, are really, really good at helping me try to balance those expectations. And I also have incredible teammates who are really good at also helping me stay grounded and acknowledge where I am and what I'm doing. And I'm at this really, again, privileged point in my life where I can take advantage of being in the position that I am and see where this could take me. A 
Tour de France Femme is around the corner. <laughs> I'm excited. Honestly, the course this year is incredibly attritional, and I think that will play to my strengths. It's just a lot of what will happen, what can happen, and a lot of anticipation, but it's also really exciting. And I think I'm in a pretty privileged position. This life definitely brings me joy and happiness. And I think that's most found when I'm with the team, just when we are humans and being goofy and yeah, just being able to be with people that I love and being myself. Tim always says this sport is the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and there's nothing more true than that. And it's a lot more lows than highs, but those highs are so worth it. That's me. Yeah.